Is this exercise, is this exercise 17.1? This is question 14 and Garrett here is going to do the perimeter. Garrett, how do you get the perimeter? I use add up all the sides. So start off, what do you add first? Uh, 26. 26 plus? 8. Yeah. Yeah. Plus 10. Yeah. Plus 9. Yeah. Plus 6. Yeah. Plus 9. Plus 9, yeah. Plus 10. That's a 9 there. Plus another 10, yeah. Uh, plus 8. Plus another 8. And what does all that add up to? Uh, 26 plus 8 is. Do you have it done already? Or? Oh, yeah. Uh, 86. 86. Everyone agree to 86? Yeah. 86 what? Centimeters? Uh, uh, I think they're uh, centimeters. Uh, yeah, centimeters. Okay, now we're on the area. Can anybody tell me how to get the area of this? Hands up if you know how to get the area of this shape. Connor. Uh, okay, so you're just going to split it straight across, are you? Yeah. Okay, so Connor decided to split it straight across into two different rectangles. One rectangle being uh, around this size here. And the other rectangle being a smaller rectangle that goes down like this. Okay, what's the size of the bigger one? Uh, 8 by? 8 by 26. And what is 26 multiplied by 8? Um, 208. So 48 carried to 4, 8 multiplied by 2 is 16, 16 plus 4 is 208. 208 is right. 208 centimeters okay. squared. Now, what about the smaller one? Uh, 9 by 6. 9 by 6, which gets me? Um, 54. 54 centimeters squared. Now we're going to add them both together. What happens then? Uh, 208 plus 54. 262. 262 centimeters squared. Okay, which one is that the only one I was asked to do there? Okay. Next one, number 16. Okay, gonna go for Luke. What's the area of a triangle, Luke, the formula? Um, multiply the. Oh, sorry, yeah, multiply the base by the height. And then half the answer. Yeah. So it's gonna be a half. What's the base of this one? 10. Half 10 times? Uh, 8. 8, which is? 40. 40 centimeters squared. Okay, what about number 18? Uh, we'll go for Jake. 18? Um, it'll be 6 times 10. Half 6 times 10, which is? 30. Okay, that's not too bad. Moving on. Number 22, part 1 and part 3. Uh, we're going to go for Luca, 22 part 1. What's the area of a parallelogram? Uh, What's the general formula for area? Uh, Oh no, sorry, the... Uh, Base by the... Oh, no, sorry, by the, <coughs> the length. By the height. Vertical height, okay. So what's this one? Uh, so you have to change 400 centimeters to 4 meters. 400 centimeters, 4 meters. And then a half, base multiplied by height is there for? Uh, 6 by 4. Meters. 4 by 6, which is? 24. 24 meters squared. Alright, what about number 3? Uh, we're going to ask Orson. Orson, number 3. Um, What's the height? The height is 11 meters. And uh, that's where they got you. Okay? I mean, wait, no. So the height is 7 meters. Because that's going vertically yeah. upwards. The height is 7 and the. Um, base is 11. Base is 11. It's a half 7 by 11? Um, no, because it's two um, identical triangles. So sorry, what's a half? Oh, sorry, not sorry. It's not a half. Sorry, excuse me. It's seven multiplied by eleven. Yeah. What's seven multiplied by eleven? Seventy-seven. Seventy-seven. Sorry, seventy-seven meters squared. squared. All right. And uh, if you were to spin this around, you can see that it's eleven is the base and seven is the height. Okay. We're gonna calculate the area of the shaded regions in question twenty-four to thirty. All dimensions are in meters. We're gonna do number 25 first, okay? Anybody have any ideas how to get the triangle in 25? Hands up. Orson said there was that the formula for a triangle is a half base by height. The base is 23. We have to figure out the height. But the full way down is 16. So divide 16 by 2, we find out that the height is 8. It's going to be a half 8 times 20, or sorry, 23 times 8. What's a half 23 times 8? Now, to make this easy, we can just divide 8 by 2 to get 4. 
4 times 23 92 92 meters squared ok let's move up to another one now number 27 have a look at number 27 and tell me how you might go about doing it ok in this here ok what Joey seen was Joey actually saw the two big triangles so what Joey is looking at is this guys Arson. Joey's looking at this big triangle, the black triangle I just drew here. So Joey says, if I get this black triangle here, if I get the area of this triangle. And then what he also said was, oh, I think there's another triangle in here, which would let's call for argument's sake the red triangle. And if he finds the area of the red triangle, and if you take the area of the uh, if you take the area of the red triangle away from the area of the black triangle, you're gonna be left with the blue area. Now this one has a height of 8 and a base of 17. It's a half base by height, which is going to be a half, 8 by 17. Same thing as 17 multiplied by 4, because half of 8 is 4, 68. So 68 meters squared. Then Joey went on to say, well look, this is 3, and this one's 17. Why don't we just do a half 3 by 17? And then you're going to get a half of 51, which is 25.5 and then you take the red one away from the green one so what's 68 minus 25.5? 0 carry to 1, what? 43.5 sorry excuse me sorry 42.5 42.5 meters squared ok and you now the last one number 29 Everyone in class have a good look at that. Somebody tell me how to go about doing it. Okay, you get the small, you get the small triangles. The small triangle A and triangle B. Triangle A is a half 10 times 18, which is 90. Triangle B is gonna be a, a half 20 times five, which is 50. They equal 140 when combined. What's the area of the entire rectangle then? 50 by 30. It's a 50 by 30, according to Joey. And that's going to be 1,000. Take away 140. 1360 meters squared. Okay, guys, somebody be kind enough to 